everyone, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Now I know you guys love when I do DIY room decor videos, so I'm back with another one. But today's is a little bit special because all of these DIYs are super, super easy. Like guys, they literally take one step. But I think they all turned out so cute and really Tumblr and beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoy. Really quickly, I did wanna remind you guys that I post new videos every single Monday and Friday. So hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more DIYs. But let's just get right into it. So the first DIY I'm gonna show you guys how to make are these wall decals. And these are removable and totally customizable. You can do whatever shapes or designs you want, but I decided to do this cool geometric design. For this DIY, you're gonna need some black electrical tape, which you can pretty much find anywhere. It's really accessible and easy to find. And guys, the only step to this DIY is to tape to the wall. I know it's so easy and it seems a little self-explanatory, but I did just wanna show you guys that DIYs don't have to be this crazy elaborate thing. You can do easy DIYs that take you less than five minutes to do. So as you can see here, I'm just taping to the wall, whatever designs I want. I decided to go for this cool geometric design. So I did all of these like pyramids and prisms, which I think turned out really, really well especially because for this design you don't really need to measure anything which is awesome because we're trying to keep things simple and easy there's no fuss involved you literally just tape to the wall guys and I think it turned out really cool it's definitely really unique and you can change it up depending on the aesthetic of your room Okay, so we all know clothing racks are this huge trendy thing right now. I love the way that this makes my room look, but I'm gonna show you guys how to elevate your clothing rack and make it look a little bit more cool and fancy. So for this, you're gonna need some wire hangers as well as spray paint. An optional step you can use is a clear paint sealer, but this is really optional. We're just trying to go for one step, so you don't really need it. So I got this pack of 12 wire hangers from the dollar store and it's awesome because they're already white so we don't need to do any priming or anything. All you have to do is spray paint both sides. That's the only step. I made it even easier for myself and I did like a mass spray painting so I laid them all out and just went over it and did both sides and it was so easy. Now I would recommend waiting completely for these to dry before you put your clothes on because you don't want to get paint on your clothes or anything so just make sure you wait a good amount of time. But that's all for this DIY slash hack. It's really just more of an idea for y'all, but I love the way that the rose gold hangers look in my room. It definitely makes it look a lot more fancy. So the last DIY I'm gonna show you guys how to make are these custom planters, and I did two designs. I did a grid design, as well as this Kylie Jenner inspired dripping design. And just like the other ones, these are also extremely easy to make. So for this DIY, you're going to need a plant pot. I got mine from the dollar store and a marker. So I started off with a white pot, which made it a lot easier. But if your pot isn't white, you can just paint it white. It just adds an extra step. But literally all you're gonna do is draw on the pot with your marker. For the drip design, you just have to draw a straight line down with a dot at the end, connect the line to the dot and repeat this at multiple lengths. And then once you have multiple, you can connect them all with U shapes, but it's so easy to do. You can kind of just see what I'm doing here and you can get the hang of it. I would recommend not using a Sharpie because Sharpies tend to have sort of like a purplish undertone. I mean, unless that's the look you're going for, but the marker that I used is a Copic marker, just in case any of you guys were wondering. To finish it off, this of course is also optional, but I found that it really did tie the whole thing together. I just colored the top rim of the planter. And then once you put your plant in, you're all good to go. I did also just want to show you guys another idea that I did on a different pot. I did this grid design, which is of course the classic tumbler design. Um, this again did it freehand, but I kind of liked the hand-drawn look and made it look a little bit more artsy. But yeah, now I have these cool little planters and I think they make my succulents look so cute. I just love the way that they look. And these were less than a dollar to make, which is also a plus. What did I tell you guys? I was not lying when I said that these were the easiest DIYs ever. So let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed that DIY. I did want to quickly remind you guys that I do have a new video schedule. I post every single Monday and Friday, so two videos a week from me. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I do post. 
but I think that's everything. I hope you guys have an awesome, beautiful day, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.